Man, this is something I've been wanting to talk about. My name is Cole Connor with Bow Real Estate Photography. Today we're going to talk about how local influencers can expand your reach and your pockets. Like I said, my name is Cole Connor. I'm the founder and co CEO of Bow Real Estate Photography. What is an influencer, you ask? Well, according to Webster, it's someone that influences something. Duh. Pretty much an influencer in pop culture is one of those people that runs Instagram and YouTube. They probably have over 10,000 followers. They do cool YouTube vlogs. They do modeling. They shake their butt. They do makeup tutorials. They exercise and lift weights, look really cool, and they rack up followers. And then brands start to pay them because they have this huge sphere audience of people that trust them and like them. So when they say, yo, you should buy these cool shorts, I'm wearing them, everyone goes and buys some cool shorts. Simple concept, great marketing avenue. They do all types of stuff. Brands hire them to cook their food. It's more, like it's more than just modeling. It's literally every single field. They collaborate in all types of ways, and influencers make their money on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. That's how they survive, so they're serious about it. I know your questions. What does this have to do with real estate? Why don't I see this happening in real estate? Well, I don't know why it's not happening in real estate, but it should be. And like, you can go all out with these ideas and influencers and stuff like that, or you could keep it small and more niche down so that way it doesn't have to be this huge budget thing. But real estate agents for specific properties could really use some local influencers. Every city has local influencers. Columbia has local influencers. There are people in Columbia with millions of followers. There are people in Columbia with hundreds of thousands of followers. Like, why aren't people collaborating on open houses? So, for like another obvious question is like, how do you make this happen? Well, it's just like you would do a trade. So, influencers have a large sphere of people in their bubble. Those people buy and sell homes. To put it simply, that's what it is. Let's say Mary is on Instagram. She's 33 years old. She, almost all of her followers are women who... Them and their husbands make over 100K a year. She has 60,000 followers. What if you collaborated with Mary on an open house? She cooks a new recipe, films it live while you go throughout the house with the phone and you show them this beautiful million dollar home. You don't think some of her followers are going to want that? Maybe a million dollars is too much for that one. But you can do this with small homes too. You just have to do the research and make the proper trade people of all incomes all like influencers any all these people need help with real estate you could offer their your services you could trade service for service or even if you have to pay for it it's worth it you have the marketing budget if you have the marketing budget it's worth it because so many people are seeing you. You have a brand to build too. And if you're already doing video and stuff, like you should 100% be doing this. You have a brand to build. So when you collaborate with, let's say, Mary, she has all these followers. Those people are going to follow you and that just increases your reach. That's more people who know who you are, who are learning about you through Mary, who they already love. I mean, if you don't want to collaborate in some sort of open house way, what you could do is collaborate with video. You could get some... Oh, man, you could get anybody. You could get a pretty model to pretend like she's cooking in the kitchen. And so like you see people have models now, but be very particular about what models you're choosing. Are you choosing a model with 100 followers? Or are you choosing a model with 100,000 followers? That might be a little better. Then you say, hey, if you share this video, we'll give you an extra 300 bucks. Share that to her 100,000 followers? Yes. If you watched our niching down video, then you could kind of see how this is like taking that and going a almost a step further. So, for example, if there's a um, if you're in the if you're trying to sell to military families, you find a military influencer that has a hundred thousand followers. You collaborate to focus specifically on all those military families. Do you know how much that could benefit you? That's pretty much killing two birds with one stone. So like that's a military example, but you could also, there are interior designer influencers that have 20, 30,000 followers. 
there are probably some like construction businesses that have tons of followers like you never know these days even real estate agents themselves are considered influencers in a lot of areas i mentioned ryan serhant he has so many followers he is a huge influencer within within himself real estate agents can be the biggest influencers you literally sell the feeling of home and everybody has a home so the potential for your growth is monumental there's just a lot of competition so good luck a couple more ideas fitness models they could be doing something fitness wise at the home gym at the place or at the they could be doing some push-ups and pull-ups in the house's home gym chefs fashion bloggers fashion bloggers digging in the closet of the home (sighs) y'all should be paying me for this jesus you could even do skincare models in the beautiful big bathroom telling you there's so many ways to collaborate with influencers that would take you immediately so much further than the competition especially in Colombia. This type of stuff really isn't happening in Colombia. You come to LA, like we're in LA right now and it is happening here. They're throwing like crazy collaborative events with influencers. Be the first to do it in Colombia. Here's a task for you. Think of your dream home. Think of all the rooms in it. Think of maybe the tennis courts outside, the basketball courts, the the game room, the movie room, the kitchen. Now think of all the types of people who would love that space. Maybe you got a basketball player, basketball court outdoors, swimming pool, swimming person, fashion person for the big closet. Make a list, then go to Instagram. This is going to take some time, but go to Instagram, look at the top post of people in Colombia. What you'll see is that the most popular post, which has the most likes, will show up there. That is where you can begin to build out some list of influencers. Just a couple jewels here, just a couple jewels. You start making those lists or pay an intern to make that list for you, then you know what you're really working with in Columbia, South Carolina. Go get them, folks. My name is Cole Connor. If you like this video, if you have a question, if you don't understand, always feel free to hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, or bowrealestatephotography.com. Please subscribe. We got more good stuff coming for you. Y'all have a great day.